it's time to take our first look at 2026 graphics card prices. With the threat of 2026 GPU price increases from the global RAM shortage, should you buy a graphics card right now or should you wait? Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. We're gonna look at the best graphics card to buy in January 2026, including 2026 GPU prices, potential GPU launches in 2026, and the latest GPU news. Whether you're looking for the best budget graphics card, the best 1440p graphics card, or the best 4K graphics card in January 2026, we've got the pick for you. If you like this video, please give it a like and of course subscribe for more cool PC content. Let's jump into it. All right, let's jump straight into 2026 GPU prices, taking to the beginning of the month. Now, typically most current generation GPUs completely sell out between Black Friday and the end of the year, but 2025 was very different. Whether due to oversupply or less demand because of insane RAM prices, most GPUs maintain stock through Black Friday and even end of the holiday shopping season. Starting off with AMD Radeon GPU prices in 2026, we can see that those promised price increases, they might be starting to take effect. Starting with the 9070XT 16 gigabyte, prices are up by $50 over the lowest cost models, an 8% increase. But it does seem that we're seeing a mix of older discounted pricing on some models, but also higher prices on restocked models. While you can pick up a nice model for $649, MSRP models that sold out during the holidays at $599 are now coming back into stock at $699, like the PowerColor Reaper and the ASRock Challenger. Meanwhile, prices for other models are mixed between $649 and $699. This seems to indicate that while some model discounts are still out there, the general pricing trend is gonna be as much as $100 higher than previous pricing, at least at the beginning of the year. And we are seeing a similar trend with the RX 9070 16 gigabyte. Though stock of this GPU, it's very thin with only a couple models seemingly available. Now at the time of filming, you can still pick up a 9070 for around $550 for the lowest cost models, the MSRP models like the ASRock Challenger and the PowerColor Reaper are now $599 and $619 respectively. So it does seem that outside of a few still discounted models, the general indication is that pricing is probably gonna go up between $50 and $70 in the US, at least in January, 2026. Moving over to one of AMD's most popular GPUs in the RX 9060XT 16 gigabyte, we've got some more bad news. While you can still pick one up for about 9% over MSRP at $379, once again, the MSRP models that sold out over Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they are now restocking at significantly higher prices. Both the ASRock Challenger and PowerColor Reaper models of the 9060XT 16 gigabyte are now listed at $399, a $50 increase over MSRP. Potentially, this means higher prices across the board. Meanwhile, the cheapest RX 9060XT 8 gigabyte, it's around $290, and older models have largely gone out of stock. All right, moving over to 2026 GPU prices for Nvidia graphics cards, we see more of a mixed picture here, with higher end graphics cards having sold out at the end of 2026, but some lower end discounts on like eight gigabyte models still available. Starting at the top with the RTX 5090, and there does seem to be very few of these in stock under $3,000 US, which is the price I've gone with here. But pricing for the RTX 5090, it ramps up pretty quickly to $3,500, even $4,000. It isn't clear if this is just because the GPU essentially sold out over the holiday shopping season and we're waiting for restocks now, or is this a new normal for the RTX 5090? We'll look at one pricing rumor that suggests a much higher price for the 5090 in the news section. Moving over to the RTX 5080, and again, prices are well above the MSRP and its typical price. One model is below $1,200, but most models are well above $1,300. This one is definitely looking like it more of a sellout during the holiday shopping season, but only time's gonna tell if restocks are gonna come back in at that $1,000 MSRP, or if $1,200 is the new normal for the RTX 5080. The RTX 5070 Ti price situation in early 2026, a little weird. There are several at MSRP, but most models very quickly get above $800 US. Like the 5080, it's not clear if this higher pricing is the new normal, but it is a little ominous that the MSI Shadow Long an MSRP model for the RTX 5070 Ti, it's currently at $829. Sold and shipped by Newegg, by the way, not some crazy third-party seller. So this could indicate 5070 Ti prices are also going up. Moving down to the RTX 5070, prices have definitely ticked up, though it is still significantly below MSRP. The 5070 12 gigabyte just doesn't seem as popular with only 12 gigs of VRAM. We have seen it as low as $479 at times as clearly sales have struggled. Currently it's $529, but a flash sale yesterday had it 489 
While 12 gigs of VRAM might make it less attractive, it also might make it slightly more resilient to price increases due to increased VRAM prices than a 16 gigabyte model. Meanwhile, the RTX 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte still has a couple of models available for 429, but then prices do spike up pretty quickly towards the upper $400 range. And a lot of models are seemingly sold out. We have heard that this was one of the first models that was going to suffer production cuts and price increases in 2026 due to increased VRAM prices. And we might be seeing that impact right now. But if you want an eight gigabyte GPU, Nvidia seems to be cutting prices on those. I see multiple RTX 5060 eight gig models starting at around $249 to 279. That's a big departure from its 299 MSRP. As a contrast, we almost never saw steep discounts on the RTX 4060 eight gigabyte like this while it was the current generation GPU. And the RTX 5050, it's been available on flash sales for as little as 199. At the time of filming, it popped back up to 235. All right, checking in with Intel GPU pricing, it's been remarkably stable in early 2026. Not only can you pick up the ARC B570 for 199 and the ARC B580 for 249, you can even find models with the ARC game bundle again, which had been removed. Meanwhile, I did go ahead and combine the A580 and A750 listings. They basically serve the same place in the market right now as the lowest price eight gigabyte GPU. Right now, that's the A580 at 179. All right, jumping into GPU news for January, 2026. I will note I'm filming this before any announcements at CES 2026. Now we did a whole video on all the GPUs rumored to launch in 2026. You can check that out for more details and I will pin any GPU announcements at CES in the pinned comment. I personally think we still might get a couple of GPU launches in 2026, though none in the early part of the year and none that I really think people are gonna get excited about but only time will tell. Now a massive rumor just dropped that Nvidia intends to raise the price of the RTX 5090 to, wait for this one, $5,000. Citing nothing other than industry sources, the South Korean publication News IS also claims that AMD will begin price increases in January. Well, Nvidia price increases on its GPUs will come in February. Other than what seems to be a crazy RTX 5090 pricing, this is basically repeating what we already knew from other leaks. Both AMD and Nvidia are raising prices due to the increased cost of VRAM as the global RAM market suffers a massive shortage as AI data centers basically eat up every RAM and SSD in the world. It does seem like prices are going up and it's not clear by how much with some of the lower estimates around 10%, Others say significantly higher. It is possible that even AMD and Nvidia aren't sure how much prices are gonna go up because VRAM prices continue to rise themselves. Though PC RAM prices have leveled off as we went through in our 2026 RAM prices video, which you can check out if you wanna know where RAM prices are going in 2026 and where they are right now. Taking a look at GPU game bundles in January, 2026, only Intel's currently offering one. It's the same one that's been around for a while where you get to pick one of four games with the purchase of an ARC B-series graphics card at a participating retailer. Now they keep taking this one away, then adding it back onto their graphics cards. So if you want it, make sure it's in your card at the time of checkout to ensure you get it. I'll put a note in the pinned comment if AMD or Nvidia drop game bundles in January. Let's jump into the best graphics cards to buy in January, 2026. And remember everything's linked down in the video description. Let's start off with the best graphics card under $200 or let's call it like around $200. I'll put up our GPU data for FPS comparison as well as current pricing. Of course, all the GPUs under $200, they've got drawbacks. But at this price point, it's all about getting the best cheap GPU in 2026. The cheapest decent graphics card right now, it's the ARC B570 10 gigabyte for 199, if that's available in your region. It plays most games at 1080p or even 1440p just fine. Drivers works for virtually all games, but they're not always available at the game launch. And what else are you gonna get brand new for that price with at least 10 gigabytes of VRAM? In the US, you can pick it up at Newegg with the Intel game bundle, so you get a $60 game with it. That's crazy good value. Obviously, if you have more to spend, you could consider the next category up. Jumping up to the best graphics card under $300 in January, 2026, we're gonna add in the ARC B580 12 gigabyte, the RTX 5050 and 5060 eight gigabytes, and the RX 9060 XT eight gigabyte, along with the 12 gigabyte RTX 3060, which does have access to DLSS4. All these choices have the same drawbacks as the $200 GPUs basically, so you're spending more and that just doesn't feel great. At 249, the RTX 5060 eight gigabyte, you should consider it with the ARC B580 12 gigabyte, you can use DLSS4 and on games that are more VRAM intensive, you could go to a lower resolution or lower quality setting. But if you're looking for good FPS at high details at 1440p, 
I'd probably pick up the ARC B580 12 gigabyte, which will never leave you hanging for VRAM issues. And right now you can get the Intel game bundle with it. The ARC's 9060XT 8 gigabyte actually handles running out of VRAM better than the 5060, since the 9060XT uses all 16 PCIe lanes on the GPU connector, while the 5060 only uses eight. That's especially true on older PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4 systems for you GPU upgraders. Is the 9060XT 8 gigabyte worth $40 more than the 5060? <sighs> Probably not, though it is a little bit faster. All right, now let's look at the best graphics card under $400 US, and I'm left wondering if this is the last month that we're gonna be able to do this all together at $400. Currently the RX 9060XT, 16 gigabytes, $384, possibly going up to 399. The 5060 Ti 16GB sells a couple models at 429 but seems to be going up to the high 400 itself. We also have the RTX 5060 Ti 8GB at 349 which makes no sense. So which one should you get? The 5060 Ti 16GB and the 9060 XC 16GB are the best budget 1440p graphics cards in 2026 despite rising prices. They both have 16 gigs of VRAM, they both come with excellent upscalers in DLSS4 and FSR4, especially at 1440p. The 5060 Ti 16 gig is probably a little bit faster, but the 9060XE 16 gigabyte gets a slightly higher FPS boost from FSR4 than the 5060 Ti does with DLSS4. So they're just very, very close. The only separating difference, DLSS4 is available in some older games that FSR4 is not available in though they are both seemingly matching new game releases. If you can find an RTX 5060 Ti 16GB within about 40 bucks of the 9060 XC 16GB, I would probably pay that small price premium. It's about 10% of the overall price. Beyond that, I would probably save my money with the 9060 XT 16GB, especially if you need to buy RAM in 2026. Moving up to the best graphics card under $600 US, that's where we pick up the RTX 5070 12GB for 530, and the RX 9070 16GB for $550. The RX 9070, it's slightly faster, 16 gigs of VRAM, FSR4 gives a slightly higher FPS boost than DLSS4, but DLSS4 has wider game adoption on older titles. I think 12 gigs of VRAM should still be good for rasterized 1440p gaming at high details until we get the next generation of consoles, probably in late 2027 or early 2028. But after that, I think you're gonna start to see games want more than 12 gigs of VRAM at 1440p. So overall, the edge here goes to the 9070, unless its price goes up massively, while the 5070 stays down around $530. Moving up to the best graphics card under $800 US, as we add in the RX 9070 XT 16GB at 649, and the RTX 5070 Ti at 749. But possibly both of these GPUs are about to get more expensive. These GPUs perform pretty much identically in gaming, possibly the 9070 XT is a little faster and FSR4 gives a slightly better FPS boost than DLSS4, with DLSS4 of course having better game adoption. Both these GPUs are great at most ray tracing workloads with the RTX 5070 Ti having the edge in the small number of path tracing games, but it is a small edge. So at what price would I choose the 5070 Ti over the 9070 XT? At a $100 price difference, the 9070 XT basically crushes the 5070 Ti, especially if you're building a system and you need to buy an SSD and RAM where that money is better spent. I'd need the 5070 Ti to be no more than about $50 more, to be honest. Even at that point, I'd probably regret buying the 5070 Ti because that 50 bucks probably could have spent that somewhere else. Finally, let's look at the best graphics cards for any price that money can buy. So we're gonna throw in the RTX 5080 and the RTX 5090 at their really, really crazy prices right now. On the one hand, the RTX 5080 16 gigabyte seems kind of a dumb product. For roughly double the current price of the 9070 XT 16 gigabyte, you get 15% more FPS. With the RTX 5090 price seemingly going to the moon, maybe that's fine if you want more FPS, but you can't part with the kidney to get the 5090. But it just seems like a lot of wasted money in 2026 when you already have other things like cough, cough, RAM, and SSDs to buy. I also feel like at this point, if you wanted a 5090, where the heck were you in the past five months? Maybe you woke up from a coma and you suddenly realized, oh my gosh, my chance at a 5090s, it's almost over. Or maybe you're the lucky person who just won the $1.7 billion Powerball lottery and you're like, hey, that'll get me at least three RTX 5090s. All right, so let's play everyone's favorite game. Should you buy now or should you wait? 
Well, it seems like we're seeing the beginning of increased prices by both AMD and Nvidia in order to offset rising VRAM prices. Meanwhile, we're not expecting any super exciting GPU launches in 2026, though I do think we will get some launches. If you're thinking about an RTX 6000 series or whatever AMD calls its next generation of GPU architecture, RDNA 5 or UDNA 5, then it will likely be 2027 at the earliest. So the big question is, are graphics card prices gonna get any better than they are right now? now. Well, listen, if the AI bubble bursts, maybe if RAM prices at least went down because maybe the shortage was fueled more by panic buying by big OEMs and AI hyperscalers than an actual shortage of RAM that they need, then maybe GPU prices might go down towards the latter part of 2026, maybe Black Friday-ish. But will they get better than these prices right now? I really don't think so. So if you're in the market for a new graphics card and for some reason you didn't buy when prices hit their lowest level at the end of 2025, you should absolutely be buying right now. And while it might feel bad to miss out on the lowest prices, I will note that these current GPU prices, they're not bad for GPU performance that you're getting. All these graphics cards are linked down in the video description along with the best January 2026 GPU deals that we can find and we will keep updating that list as GPU deals drop. So check out those links for current pricing and availability in your region. Also check the pinned comment for any big changes like new GPU launches or game bundles. If you got value in this video, please give it a like and of course subscribe for more cool PC content. Like our look at 2026 GPU launches right here or 2026 CPU launches right here. What's the latest on the launch rumors for 2026 CPUs and GPUs? One of these videos right here. Check them out and we'll catch you on the next one.